Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to our City of Fairwood in City Skylines. Today we're starting off with a wonderful, juicy little time lapse. I have been looking at this area for a while, figuring out what I wanted to do with it because I didn't want to encroach on farming town too much. Because I want to try to kind of keep town separated, as it were. Uh, but I, I needed to fill it with something and I really, really didn't want to go uh, high density, which is something that we've unlocked, if you'll notice our population. So I decided, you know what, I was looking uh, around different towns and things of that nature to see how they handled uh, their suburbanons, as, as I'm going to call it, as I'm going to coin the term. Uh, and what I noticed was that there's several places where there's just a huge amount of space that is just nothing but different types of suburban layouts all within the same sort of i guess you could call it a block system uh and especially in a small town or a smaller town where places you know are developing quickly what you'll tend to notice is that you still have those farming blocks like we did up up in farming town but that they've expanded you know those big giant farming sectors where they did their hectares of land and then they just turn those big blocks into just full-blown suburban areas. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, I think it'll work very well. Overall, I enjoyed the little quirky types of different systems all going in together. And I think it'll create our next suburban area quite nicely. And I'm actually really excited for it. Now, I mentioned high density. Uh, and we'll talk about high density a bit in this episode. So no worries about that. We will get to high density. I don't want you to think we aren't ever going into it, but I have very specific plans for the high density stuff. So that's something you'll just have to look forward to. Uh, now this will be over with in just a minute or so, and then we'll officially get into the episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy it. And of course, if you enjoy any part of this, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, leave any comments. They all go a great deal towards helping YouTube want to push the stuff out even more. Thank you so much. See you in just a minute. And welcome to Fairwood, officially starting episode three. Um, yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this build right here. Uh, now, I know it may seem a little wonky. It seems like I'm randomly combining all sorts of different types of uh, road connections and things of that nature. But honestly, if you went to any Midwest town, uh, especially even uh, where I'm from in Northwest Arkansas, you'll know that this is actually pretty par for the course. Now we have some money, so we may spend a little bit of dough. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and do that while I chat through the things. Uh, so yeah, basically I wanted to turn this into almost a suburbia 2.0. We need to expand our city population without getting into high density. And the main reason for not wanting to do high density yet is uh, pretty straightforward, essentially, I don't like any spot currently where we are uh, in terms of land usage that would support it and support it well. I kind of want to build high density a very good ways off so that way we can kind of shovel off that traffic because that traffic will be quite heavy. So I almost want it to be a completely different part of the city, which typically, typically it is. You know, usually your suburbias are commuting from suburbia all the way into into the inner city part so while this is probably more of a historic part of the town when it comes to fairwood's 
actual like bustling commercial downtown uh we're gonna build it in a different place and now that that's up and going this is where we are going to build it now unfortunately we're not going to get to start there but what i'm thinking is actually starting over here now the only problem is that we've got a massive uh, a massive hill it's not even a mountain it's a massive hill right uh, but we do have all of this land here that we can develop, maybe turn into another seaside resort, uh, that sort of deal. And we're going to use this connection right here. In fact, let's go ahead and try it out. But we're going to use this connection to really, let's see, I really, really want, there we go. We're going to use that in order to, uh, to bridge the gap. Now we will have, you know, an off ramp here some sort of system that levy that lightens that load. But this will be an important intersection that will happen. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, you notice in the bottom corner, we have a huge high demand for that. We did not draw our pipes in this. Uh, so we're gonna have to do that rather quickly. Uh, but continuing on with the discussion of things, uh, we are gonna have to really very, very soon tackle the idea of public transport. And that scares me because there is very much a wrong way uh, to go about doing transportation. I'm not so much thinking that buses are gonna be the most efficient way. What I am sort of leaning towards is almost a tram system between these different sections. You know, I, I think it would be from a role-playing perspective a uh, role-playing perspective, we're not going to add drainage there. But from a role-playing perspective, I think it would be cool to have a tram system and maybe eventually upgrade to that light rail monorail system that goes along the outskirts of uh, of our small little town. Uh, let's go ahead and add that. But, you know, my thoughts are like, you know, kind of this main area here main area there we got this going along the seaside or the the riverside just even a single tram station from here all the way to here would really do uh, go a long ways towards connecting all of our different areas in the best of ways now whether or not that will work i don't know but i think it would just be a really neat system to try and wrangle we're going to go ahead and draw that there just in case that doesn't uh, but for now, like I said, we're gonna, we'll probably figure that out in the next step. I don't know if I've promised that before. If I have, I apologize. Uh, but uh, that is just the way it's going to be. Now, Amity Heights is actually going to be a pretty good name for this. I still say we, we drop a chunk of our commercial along this roadway. It just makes the most sense. It adds just a little bit, just that little tiny barrier that will separate the two areas. This is actually gonna be another small park. We're not gonna do that there. Um, and then what I'm thinking of is we're gonna turn this into another park. Again, Fairwood is all about its parks. And in this area, we may actually go a little fancier I do think we're going to end up charging fees to go into this park. Uh, and so we're going to have kind of a, almost a little strip of commercial. So if people get hungry or if people want to do something, a little bit of shopping and then go to a park, they can totally and legitimately do that. But for now, we are just going to paint the rest of this green as can be. get inside of the park area those park areas are again probably something that I'll do off-site unless you guys just really want me to do that stuff and that's another thing that I could really use your help on what do you want to see in time lapses versus what do you want to see built live because I'm more than happy as usual everything we've said so far I'm more than happy to cater to either, either or it doesn't bug me I want to see more time lapses where I get more accomplished. I'm totally fine with that. But if you don't, then we can certainly take a little more time 
and build things up just a little more slowly. So that should satiate uh, for a good while our production, our, our uh, residential, our commercial. Now, uh, industry is something we are going to have to work on. And if we look over here, oh yes, you, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I had some plans here. We're gonna move our barns. Someone mentioned that barns are or at least silos are essential. So I'm I'm slapping a few of those babies down. Because this is just, yeah, a grain silo does 300,000. This does 500,000. Yeah, so let's drop. We're going to go overkill because, I mean, just why the heck not? We're going to have a ton of barns. But we're also going to boost our worker force. And utilize this space as efficiently as possible. And then if we see, we also see that we have a tier 4 uh, while I was uh, fixing some things up, that's just how it rolled. So we will be rocking into a tier five farm soon, which is great. And then I also realized I hadn't had policies yet. So we have improved logistics, which increases storage capacity. I don't know if that necessarily works for farming, but we'll see. And then advanced automation simply increases production and upkeep by 10%, but that works for me. So if we go here, we can see that we are just plowing through everything. And then hopefully, oh goodness gracious, I've done. Look what I have done. We are going to automatically redirect traffic. Yep, you're gonna have to get turned around. You're gonna have to turn around and do all those things. So what you're gonna end up doing is going all the way around, and that is a little unfortunate, but we have to direct traffic in some manner or else we will just, even this is real bad. Honey Street might have to get its first light just to juggle that traffic. And then we're even gonna, we're gonna juggle that. No, we're gonna actually leave that, but you're gonna go there. We'll have to see how well that works, because that's all sorts of goofed up. Yeah. Not convinced. Not convinced whatsoever. You know what? Let's go ahead, reanalyze. that ways and that ways what's the hold up here oh that's our light okay that doesn't seem to be an effective way to tackle it maybe the problem is that I have too many built up close to each other so maybe if I split things up across all of the barn space we have uh, things won't be so crazy and i do think we're just going to have to automate all of this stuff oh crap there we go we got to lead traffic away from the site we've got to really diverge and do all the things holy moly this is a disaster uh you know what let's do this we're adapting we are adapting this is going to need i feel like an entire rework but we should be we're at like sky rocketing profits which is cool um all right yeah we'll get there very quickly and dairy for days will be doing good stuff. Now we only, oh wow, it just really, it really just switches over, doesn't it? That weekly profit thing is killer. Uh, we're gonna pay both of our loans off. We have the money to. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. I mean, maybe we do just spread out our barns everywhere. I mean, these guys are full. Yeah, those guys are full. And then once they're full, they kind of just stay full and we push them elsewhere. I'll have to work on that for sure because that is very, very frustrating. 
But over here in Amity Heights, uh, we're, we're rocking it as well. What I'm interested in is our literacy rates. So we're actually, almost everyone's educated on this part. Slowly getting educated there. High school, we could use another high school. So if we go down here, you know what? That's not a half bad place. Then they can kind of come around through there. And then we need university. University is something we actually desperately really need. Uh, and I think we are going to put it next to Beachside Dunes. So that way, whenever our college students get done with their day, uh, they can go to the beach, which I think would be a great uh, a great way to kind of chill and, uh, and relax over a weekend. We'll place that there. And now, once we get an actual campus... Uh, unlocked we'll be able to move that along let's take a look at our we're at 92 percent which isn't too half bad at 12,000 population and with this conundrum that is this place let's take a look at it real quick i do believe a traffic light is going to be the most effective here traffic light and this parts is not necessary All right, so it is sort of lessening up a bit, but you'll notice we have a sewage problem. Sewage is something we will definitely work on drastically in the future because uh, I don't enjoy poop rivers. Not one single bit. And while this doesn't look bad, I mean, that just looks like a dark river. When you get out to what the water is supposed to look like, we are backing things up so much that is actually reversing the flow backwards, which is a terrible idea. All right, cool. Well, we've reached level five and we can do all of the things now. Awesome. Congratulations, Dairy for Days. Although we do need to import a ton. Just a metric ton. Of crops I mean that's that's basically what we need right our farming industry is just too bonkers for us to be able to handle not within the industry thing well, let's go ahead and expand that then might as well cover this little bit too grab that little bit as well and then we can drop that in now 12 grand a pop is a lot of money But I'm wondering if we couldn't delete some of the littler guys to make up for that. I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot. And we could always get our efficiency even greater by doing that. Because these guys add work efficiency 175%. Good lordy. All right, well, that's a bustling industry. Now, we could always expand this a little bit more. And I think that's what we're going to do. Because this will allow me to just build up money. But it will also allow my population to kind of just do what it needs to do while I focus on, on these other things of life. So, what we're going to do here, we are going to expand our road system. And this, mind you, is just a very basic, um, just a very basic farming setup. I'm not doing... Uh, anything too crazy. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do. Uh, just to kind of do. I actually hate that. I actually hate that a whole bunch. Uh, we're going to stick to our right turns. Uh, this is kind of a more industrialized area. Okay. That sounds good. Thank you for understanding. Let's go uh, right there. And again, we're not going for hyper-efficiency here. We're almost just going for... Uh, just just something to, to get along with. Let's go back to here. There we go.
There we go. Very nice. All right, what do we got here? Not enough buyers for the products. Yeah, that's that's definitely an issue. So we're almost too productive now. Uh, now what we could do is, of course, you know, we've got this. There's not enough buyers there, which is fine. But what if we wrecked ourselves just a smidgen? And we turned this area, which has a decent bit of commercial. Hmm, I'm almost wondering if we go here. Oh, we already have. Watch this. So look at this. So we went here. I don't remember doing this, but we did. We turned this into organic and local produce. So that way, what is built here will actually um, be focused on the organic lifestyle. Because then we can really... Uh, maybe boost ourselves just a smidgen in what the local produce has to offer. Ergo, vis a vis, we might go be able to do stuff here. Now, we will expand this a whole bunch, and I may even develop a uh, devote an entire episode to maybe clearing this out and turning this almost into a manufacturing development area. You know what? You know what? Let's just go ahead and do that now. Let's develop our farming industry to things that make sense, okay? Now we have the cattle shed, we have the milking parlor. We have our slaughterhouse. But in terms of unique factories, we also have a bakery. It gives us, if we do meat or crops and flour, it turns into uh, commodities is basically. Uh, we've got two productions there. Let's get a bakery going right here. What's already occupied here? I don't think anything should be occupied here. All right, so we can only have one bakery. We can do a lemonade factory, but we need glass. We're not at that point yet. We could do a clothing factory. Ooh, that's actually a really, really good idea. And that's something I had forgotten about. Oh, we are making loads of cotton. Oh, that's fantastic. We're making loads of cotton. Let's actually turn that into uh, potatoes. Potatoes, and then we got cotton for the rest of it. That's great, because that means I can go here, get this clothing factory, and holy Moses. That, my friends, is a chunky boy. We're about to do it, though. Base is already occupied. You tell me I can't squeeze that? Oh, it's occupied by a factory. This is another thing we need to work on, by the way, guys. I want to green up our production. <gasps> there it goes, right there. So this is being... Let's see. We need animal products. Let's go ahead and boost that up to 150%. Same here. So now we're going to need animal products and we're going to need crops and we're going to need... Oh, that's plastics. I thought it was cotton. That's my bad. So that really won't do us any good. Well, rip. I'm a little bit of an idiot there, but that's okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and just... Uh, let's do that with the, the lemonade factory, which is even larger. Holy Moses. Okay, maybe we won't do it with that anymore. But we're making loads of money, which is great. Let's go ahead and slow that down to it. What else can we do here? Looks like we need more workers, which is always going to be in demand. But we could do a food factory, which is going to take a lot more than what we can do as well. So it looks like we've done about all we can. This large warehouse. Balance mode of the warehouse will operate based on the current demand. <clears throat> yeah, I don't feel like we need that. But we do have... Oh, my word. This is turning to be quite a pickle. We might need alternate routes. And or... Hmm. No, I see the issue here. We're going to have them stop... 
I almost wonder if it wouldn't be beneficial to say, hey, you're going this way and you're going to go this way. If that wouldn't clear some things up, it doesn't appear that it will. Now we've got some we've got some big road issues. We might just need to bump up this tiny thing into something just a little bit bigger. And we don't need, I hate that it defaults to uh, road lights there because that's not necessary. It is not necessary whatsoever. That seems to have cleared things up now that they're kind of organizing themselves uh, appropriately. We are disconnected. No more. Just in case it happens again. Go right there. Does that seem to clear things up? It does just a little bit. This is still a big giant issue. Where are these guys going, I guess, is the deal. Let's take a look. You're going out there. So basically, we just need another way to extend this out. I really don't want to just try and throw one up, and that's not going to work anyway. I'm wondering, though, if we couldn't just, as a temporary stop, just like, whoop. No one else is really using this. At least not in this intersection. Maybe if I provide a much uh, smoother way to access the interstate, then they'll do that. There we go. We've already got a guy using it. Away! Very nice. That should help a ton. We're still going to have this issue, but it's not altogether bad. I wish I could click on this. There we go. Not making a, a, a great deal. But this should be making quite a bit. Yeah, we're actually not doing altogether terrible. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, no. Very bad. We forgot to make our our, our park limits here. So let's go ahead and we're going to we're going to slow this down. Go one speed. Uh, let's go into, we're not going to do an amusement park. We are just going to do another city park. And this doesn't require such a huge gate. It also appears that I can't, can't build here. Space already occupied. That's a little wonky. Well, we'll build as close as we can there. There we go. Uh, and then, like I mentioned, this is actually going to be one that I think we're going to end up making them pay. Here we go. Let's uh, let's soften the terrain quite a bit. Those gates are going to be wonky. Plus all the other things that go with it. All right, cool. Well, let's just make this real quick. Uh, I found it actually is easier to do it this way. Because it just allows you to be able to make sure you cut off the zoning so the zoning doesn't ever become an issue again. Because believe you me, it will become an issue again. There we go, cool. And then we need to build, let's uh, turn this back on. Because we need to build, I do. Ju I, I just love the idea of little like plaza roundabouts. 
They look so good. Since this is a small park, you get a really awkward one. Try that again. Let's go. Oh. D. D. It's only going to let me do 80, isn't it? No. All right, well, let's just. Yeah, that's not bad. And then we're going to do this because it actually will end up keeping things a little better. Enjoy your new park, guys. Like, that's... Like I said, uh, it's a small park. But I understand completely. Parents need some place to put their kids when they gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, and then we'll, we'll draw just a, a really quick, simple... Uh, info booth. Park area. Uh, we have a gazebo, or we could place... That'll actually fit. Oh, that's perfect. We have a little trampoline park, but we're not going to worry about that. We will kind of throw some tables. And again, this is something that, uh, that I can always come back and get to. We just want some relatively basic things going on here. So we've already got an entertainment value of 436. All right, that's not a bad park. Not a bad park at all. 640 out of 220 necessary. So this should be making some money uh, here relatively soon. That's a nice little park though. And then of course, all of our things favor parks. Uh, for instance, we prefer parks. We have the parks and recreation. And then we need to, uh, let's see, we have just enough time left. I think we can build our first tiny national park. That'd be actually like a state park, a nature reserve. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a little small for a nature reserve and it's too hilly for anything else. City park. We got tourism and leisure. What do we got in that though? We have a beach volleyball, a riding stable, a skate park. Oh, that's definitely going to go. That's what this area is going to be a hundred percent. So I might fill that out and make that work. Uh, this is doing great. Our students are getting there. High school students are working well. We have a ton of elementary. But we could, I'll turn it into the high school, turn it into the elementary school. Go and build community school. That way we can help our kids in a more creative outlet over here in Amity Heights. Traffic flow, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out something for these bad boys. Because while this is good, it's not fantastic. And we may end up needing to purchase this area out over here. We are super close to 15,000 people as well. Uh, you know what, let's, yeah, we got that park. We may turn this into another park. Like I said, I love the idea of just tons and tons of parks. I wish there were more parks. Just in, in most cities anyway. It adds such a tremendous value to the quality of life. And it's something that I do thoroughly enjoy. And then in the next episode, we might just get into our tram system. 
I think we might get into our tram system. Now, whether I do that through the time lapse or not, that is completely up to you guys. But that's going to end this episode. I'm still extremely pleased with how well it's going. I am extremely pleased. I, I couldn't be happier. I think we're doing a fantastic job, and I appreciate all of your guys' support, your uh, you know your your warm comments and all that stuff. It's very very supportive of uh, of myself, and it's something that I appreciate beyond what you. But anyway, speaking of support, if you did enjoy any part of this video, be sure to put a like, comment, subscribe. You can become a YouTube member uh, with its own perks. Well, if you guys start doing it based on City Skylines, we'll add some perks in specifically for city skylines such as priorities and naming or whatever but also be sure to check out my patreon if you want any of those ways are perfect ways that you can support this channel and make city skylines a success just something that would be really awesome thank you again for watching this is havoc and i'll see you guys later